A major investment announced for West Louisville today. $50 million would be going to five organizations all geared toward education. The call out for decades from West Louisville has been loud and clear. Louisville turned its back on the West End. There was no meaningful investment for years and a lack of basic services. WHS 11's Bobby McSwine is talking to one group getting some of this new money and another local leader who says they finally only see progress from here on out. We are investing an incremental $50 million into the West End of Louisville. Brown Foreman, the family-owned Louisville-based liquor giant, is donating $50 million to five organizations, including the Louisville Urban League, AMPT, Simmons College of Kentucky, Louisville Central Community Center, and the West End School. Thank you all so much for your faith in the Urban League and for believing in us and for believing in the work. Simmons College will receive $10 million. Black teachers matter. And this infusion of money will help undergird our teacher education program. AMPT founder and director Dave Christopher says he couldn't believe his ears when he was first told. And I just started crying. Like I just, because everything, what, what hit me in that moment was the confidence that they said they had in me and, and what we could do with that money. The large donation is one of many that have been announced in the last two years after decades of calling for more resources in the West End. A few investments announced in recent years include the Norton Healthcare Sports and Learning Center, the Opportunity Center, also sponsored by Norton and Goodwill, new JCPS schools, and the Kentucky Legislature just announced $10 million for the Waterfront Park West expansion. Lamont Collins, founder of Roots 101 African American History Museum, says the past two years have opened people's eyes to inequality, and he says this is another step in the right direction, but raises the question. Is it enough? You know, we know how long the West End of the community has been neglected. The question is, as beautiful as the number is, can it do what it needs to be done in the community that it's serving? Collins says all of these organizations have done a great job providing resources to the West End. And he's hopeful that this large donation will serve as a catalyst for other nonprofits to receive funding. Other black led nonprofits, uh, we just have to continue to do what we do. Understand that uh, it's a small pie at the table and you just have to be at the table for people to understand that, that you deserve it and what you get. Collins says organizations will continue doing the work as they've always done. In Louisville, Bobby McSwine for the WHAS 1119 on your side. This is Brown Foreman Foundation's largest investment since it was created in 2018.